Okay, so we continue to consider the blade aerodynamics. So we now actually we now actually want to uh, use the blade aerodynamics to be able to calculate the uh, thrust and torque of a propeller. So we take the uh, blade section. Let's just hold it in this sense for convenience, so you can see the blade section. It would rotate in that sense. Okay, so we've got the leading edge and the trailing edge. The inflow from this perspective will be coming down the way like that, and the blade speed in that sense, like that. Okay, so the resultant velocity, the resultant aerodynamic velocity, the one that's responsible for the direction of the lift and drag will be in roughly that sense. So we will have a lift due to that section in that direction and the drag due to that section in that direction. And it's the components of lift and drag in the direction of thrust and in the direction of blade movement that are then responsible for the contribution to the thrust and torque uh, to the propeller. Okay, so dealing with that is, is quite easy. Uh, we've got the aerodynamic angle of attack uh, and we get the lift and drag coefficient of the blade uh, section and uh, we then resolve those into components in the thrust and torque directions, uh, so the, the force of the torque directions respectively. But what we then want to do is, is account for the aerodynamics all the way along the blade root to tip. Okay? And we know that the aerodynamic environment changes from root to tip due to the blade speed and the twist and things like that. So what we do is we take the blade and literally break it up, split it up into small blade elements. So if you like, this red piece is a blade element, this white piece is a blade element, this red piece is a blade element, and so on, all the way down to the root. Um, for each blade element, we, we perform two-dimensional aerodynamic calculation, calculate the thrust and torque contribution of that blade element, calculate the thrust and torque contribution of that blade element, calculate the thrust and torque contribution of that blade element, all the way along the span, and add them up, and that ends up being the entire blade thrust and torque. And if we've got two blades on the propeller, multiply it by two, gives you your propeller thrust and torque. So blade element theory is, an, is, is a, it's a strip theory. It basically considers two-dimensional aerodynamics, assumes that we've got two-dimensional aerodynamics along a small piece of blade element, and then you add those little blade element thrust and torque contributions up all the way along the span. So the concept is quite straightforward. We've done the hard work already in terms of the aerodynamic environment at the propeller disc um, and the actual blade aerodynamics themselves. The blade element theory is just a solution methodology for that. Okay, so blade elements. So if we take a propeller blade, there's the central spinner, there's a blade, and there's the two-blade propeller, for example. Okay. Radial ordinate R. We split the blade up into these blade elements. Okay and the spanwise length spanwise length of a blade element is delta r okay so So, just using a little bit of mathematical notation here, calculate the thrust of delta T i of the i blade element, then um, thrust is summation delta T i, i equals 1 to n, or n blade elements. So, we develop this theory for this blade design methodology in the notes. We do the same for the talk as well. Okay, so that just summarises what we're doing for the um, blade element theory.